can't leave, looks like he's got some. So we're putting on the action cam, here goes Tony. First dam, first net, oh, flippy flop. How are you going? Come in from here. I'll come in from here. G'day guys, welcome back to Bush Rats. I'm Young Lee. I'm Tony. And today we were out in the bush and we're on to cook up. We're down by Young Lee's tray side outdoor kitchen. We've got Tony here. He's going to be he's here for a feed, really. Chef Lee basically running his own uh, food van this time of year. <laughs> um, I've rocked up for a feed because uh, if you watched the previous video, we did head out and catch some yabbies yep. quite recently. Uh, We've got a good fair few there, so technically it's like two days later, so yeah. still fresh, still kicking. Yeah, we're, I'm going to do a bit of a boil up today. We're going to do a Tennessee, or what was it, Louisiana. Louisiana. Boil up. That's how we keep, we keep it real in the south. Um, I've got some ingredients here, we're going to go through them now, yeah. see what we can get, and I think Tony's going fishing. Might have a bit of a flick, but definitely looking forward to see how Lee's big boil up goes. Gonna keep it southern style. Kitchen will be open in about 20 minutes, mate. <laughs> a bit of hurry up, mate. Order up. Friends, now while Tony's off trying to get a few fillets in the bag, I'm going to run you through everything you're going to need here for a Louisiana, Louisiana, Louisiana style boil up. So we're going yabbies. These are crawfish or crawdads or lobsters in America. But that's what we got here. We got about two dozen in there. This should be enough for a feed. Next thing you're going to want to need is some sort of spicy sausage. I've gone with chorizo. Got three of them. We'll probably only use two, but that should add a bit of a zing to the mix. Next you're going to want is some spuds. I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of boiling these up already so they're already quite soft. Um, just saves a bit of time pre-boiling the spuds so there's about six spuds in there. Next you're going to need is a couple of corns. I've got, gone with two. That should be plenty for mantone. Some water for your boil up obviously. I've also opted with some veggie stock because I couldn't find lobster or yabby stock or seafood stock so veggie stock will do. Picked this up not long ago. This is a Louisiana style rub, a uh, bit of a spice, a bit of a tang. Smells pretty good. It's got heaps of paprika in there, herbs and spices, paprika, basil, pepper, thyme, chili, salt, dried vegetable, and garlic, natural flavors, yeast extract, canola oil. So all the good stuff. And just a little smidge of Cajun in there. And a big pot. That's all we're going to need. We've got the gas bottle down here because there's a total of five bands. We've got the gas bottle, we've got the burner. Let's um, prep up these ingredients and get them in the pot and ready to go. So we're just going to cut up the chorizo. I'm going two dingers in this one and we're just going to slice them up about that big. Ah! Chorizo is chopped, ready to go. We'll pop that aside. Mix up your corn. In the Dock the tails off of it. Bada bim, bada boom. Give that a good peeling. And we're just going to cut that up into maybe four, four pieces. Corn is chopped, I'm going to pop them in with the potatoes because, like I said, they're already pre boiled, so they'll be the last thing to go in. We're just going to heat them up. Chorizo ready, yabby's ready, water's ready, pot we will get on the burner right now. So we've picked a nice tranquil spot down by what's usually a river. It's quite empty at the moment, being in the middle of summer, but there's a little trickle here. Uh, burner, we've got the gas on. Gas on. Spark her up. Pop the pot on. We'll let that heat up a little bit and we're going to start bombing everything in. All 
Right, we've got a bit of heat into that pot now. This one does not take long, guys. If you've got all your prep and your potatoes pre-boiled, this is an easy one you could do out on the adventure. So, first thing, chorizo in. So we just want to get a nice little bit of colouring on these here. Nothing too extreme, no oil needed. They'll start leaking a bit of oil. Now that we've got a little bit of colour on them, it's time to bomb in the veggie stock and we'll probably top it up with a little bit of water. So you just want to have enough in here that you can cover your potatoes, your corn and your yabbies. And a bit of water. Hot out here today. So that should be plenty. You've got one and a half liters and 500, so about about two liters. That should cover it. Tony's just come wandering back while I'm waiting for your water to boil. How's these, uh, how's these yabbies going, mate? Getting pretty hungry. Oh, getting there, mate. We're just waiting for. The water to boil. So, Are we still boiling water? Yeah, give it, give it 10, 15. Oh, I'll keep on, I'm on the search. So I've got the lid for the pot, so I've just got this tray sitting on there waiting for it to boil. Uh, while we're waiting for the water to boil, we're just gonna add some flavors. So we've got this Louisiana style rub. And a bit of the old Cajun as well. We'll pop the lid back on her. Wait for that to come to the boil and uh, we'll get some yabbies in. Wake up yabby, I think I got something to see. It's late summer and I know you will be on the tube. I'll throw you in with some spuds. We've got a nice bit of a rolling boil happening here, so it's time to bomb in the yabbies. See you boys. So now we want to give them a good seven or eight minutes, about the same length the time it takes to boil an egg. And somewhere in there we are going to bomb in the corn and the potatoes. Potatoes are already pre-cooked, they're already quite soft, so I reckon about halfway we'll pull this in. These have been in for about three or four minutes. The abbeys are starting to turn nice and orange. So I'm going to take this opportunity to pop in the corn and the potatoes. Give her a good stir up, pop your lid back on. And we'll give that another five, five, six, five, six, seven, somewhere around there. Alright, so everything's just started to come back up to the boil now. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes. The old Bunsen burner is getting a little long in the tooth, so she's not as hot as she used to be. Uh, let's strain these bad boys out and uh, get some B-roll happening. We'll track down Tony, wherever he is, and uh, let's try these things out. Oh, fuck, that's hot. That's hot.
And that's what we've ended up with right there, people. Bit of corn, a couple crawdads, a couple yabs. Tone, come yeah. grab a seat, mate. Dinner's ready. Jeez, this is living, mate. Catch and cook, yabbies. Bit of taters. Tater, good. Good work, taters. Cracking one. Busting out of one of them. How do you do a crack job? Ooh, what happened there? A couple yabs. How do we get this poop valve out? I just ate it. A little right. twisty? A little twisty poop? Ooh, there's a bit of it. A little bit of a tail here. Pop him out. A bit of a squish. There you go. Nice little Ooh. river prawn. Yeah. Prawn of the river. Mini prawn. I can mm. just give it the old poop shoot out. Ooh. Southern styles. Oh, that's good corn. There we go. I mean, super juicy. Oh, that's the juice. Oh yeah, soaked up all them flavours. Bit of chorizo, mate. Next time I'd probably bomb in some more flavours. I reckon. Yeah, you've got to go hardcore with the flavours. Yeah, you got to get heavy on the flavours because mm. you lose it all in the juices. You strain it out. But. Good little feedy. You can definitely taste that southern style drawl. Oh, hell yeah. I'll get some crawl. Crawl, dang. Mm. Tried the chorizo? No, not yet. I was a bit, I've done a little bit of research on this old recipe. Getting, okay. up, getting on the. Uh, Levi, research you. Not a Shirley's old recipe book. Yeah. Oh, not a Shirley's. Putting sausage into boil, but. Not oh, bad. you can boil a sausage. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people did when they only had water. <laughs> <laughs> no oven, just water. Well, these crawdads are pretty good. Mm, even the pooper tuber. There it is. Yeah, good bush tucker. Yeah, there's enough here for about maybe four people. So if we had any friends, we'd we'd be on here. But tell uh, we'll be probably tell Mumbo we'll bring be... your dinner home tonight. Yeah, but uh, yeah, good one for you know you and the mates kicking around on a Saturday afternoon barbecue. Few beers, get a feed of these. Few tunes, few chews. Bloody good, bloody beautiful, mate. Like I said, super simple one, guys. If you're going out yabbying, just bring a bit of corn and a couple of taters and a sausage, mm. pot of water, and you're on. You're eating straight away. So, mm. this is one I've been wanting to do for a little while. We've been talking about a boil up for a while, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, no, I did a boil up with one of my mates back a little while ago. Not as extensive as this one, but I knew it was in the works. Well. Ooh. We're going to smash this one, guys. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Catch and cook and fish. Do you get any fish? Not today, but we will soon. Yep. Oh. We're going to enjoy this. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Mm. On the tracks. Down at Young Lee's uh, Riverside Restaurant. Ooh. See you next time. <laughs> That's not a camera, is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs>